If you're relatively new to Elden Ring and are exploring Limgrave for the first time, you'll have probably come across the Stormfoot Catacombs. And if you've clicked on this video, then you've undoubtedly been confronted by the Erdtree Burial Watchdog. This boss fight can be tricky for lower level players and for players that might not know the best ways to defeat it. The way it will attack you seems erratic and honestly quite clunky, but there are things you can do to make sure that you're taking advantage of its moveset. So this video is going to be showing you exactly how to kill this thing, and what you'll receive for winning this boss fight. Before we get into this, I just want to say that I'll be briefly going through the Stormfoot Catacombs for anyone who might not know how to initiate this fight. If you're simply here to see how to defeat it, I've timestamped the video so you can skip to that point. For all the people that have seen this boss and want to know how to encounter it, first visit the Church of Ella's Site of Grace and head north. Run past the ruins and keep going until you see an opening next to the cliff face. Once you open the door to the Stormfoot Catacombs, you'll be able to rest at another Site of Grace right here. Now head down the stairs and take out the two stone imps in this room, and you'll be able to pick up a root resin for your trouble. Now go back out and turn left. Follow this all the way down until you see a big door that you can't open. More on that later. For now, head left and enter the second room. You'll be ambushed again by stone imps, but this time you'll have one on the floor above you hitting you from range. If you can't use any ranged attacks, you can just kill this imp on the ground and move on. You should be fine. Once you go through the door at the back, you'll enter a small room with a tunnel. Don't run down there just yet, as there's another imp to take out first. It'll jump off the wall and attack you, but shouldn't be too hard to kill. Now you're faced with the first trap of this area. Fire will blow down this tunnel in intervals, but there is another corridor on the right halfway down. Wait for the fire to start retracting and run into it. If you run to the end of the first corridor, you can pick up a prattling pate. Then if you strike the trap, it will deactivate making your life a little bit easier. Go back to the second corridor and do the exact same thing as the first. This time when you enter a cubby on the right, you'll notice a ladder. Ignore this for now and head to the end of the tunnel. There are multiple imps in this room, so try to take them out one by one. Then deactivate the trap and you can pick up a ghost glove wart next to this corpse. Once you've picked this up, go back to the ladder that you saw and head up it. There'll be a few more imps on this level to take out, but nothing too hard. After they're defeated, you can pick up a Grave Glove Wart right here. This next room is optional, but worth going into. Defeat the imps in here and you can pick up Wandering Noble Ashes. Now head back out of that room and turn right. You can drop down onto the level below and take out the imp that was hitting you from range earlier. Now around the corner from here, there's another imp and a Grave Glove Wart. You'll also notice this lever sat facing the entrance. Of course, go ahead and pull it. This will open that door that was locked near the beginning. I'd recommend going back to the site of Grace first to replenish your flasks as this door does lead to the boss fight. Okay, so now you're basically done in this dungeon. There's just the one small issue of the watchdog left to take care of. Head back to that door and traverse the mist at the bottom of the steps. Immediately you'll be met with the boss. You can hit it with a few ranged attacks before it gets to you if you want, but mine did very little damage. My main advice for this fight is to wait until it uses the attack where it launches itself up in the air and then stabs the ground in front of you. Whenever it does this, it will do it at least three times in a row, so simply dodge until the last smash and then get some hits in. However, if you get too close to this thing, it will start to spew fire at you, which can definitely catch you off guard, but if you're expecting it, you can just run away. If you manage to get behind the watchdog to hit it, it will sharply swivel back around, so keep that in mind. Its final move is a pretty simple one to avoid. It will stand up and walk towards you, then swipe down with its sword. Whilst this happens pretty slowly, the timing of the swipe is a little odd, so you might have to tank one hit before getting the timing right. However, I imagine this attack won't be an issue. There are a couple more basic attacks that it also performs if you get too close, but these are pretty easy to read and shouldn't really be a problem. So the best way to defeat him is wait for the smash attacks. After it performs these, there will be a brief moment where you can get some hits in. As with every boss in Soulsborne games, make sure to not get greedy though. Land one or two hits and then get out of there. Be patient and let the damage build up over time. Otherwise you'll get caught in a combo of attacks and it will be extremely hard to recover. Once you defeat this boss, you'll be rewarded with the Noble Sorcerer Ashes. This is a pretty weak summon, but will do some damage from range whilst potentially taking some aggro from whatever you're fighting. Overall, this boss really isn't that hard, especially once you know its moveset and when you can get some hits in. If you're going into it blind though, it can be tricky, so stick to the game plan and you'll be absolutely fine. 
If you're not hitting for much damage, you can also upgrade your weapons, or use weapons that cause bleed. If you want to know where to get weapons like this, feel free to watch our video on it, where I tell you some of the great early game weapons with this status effect. So that was our guide on how to beat the Erdtree Burial Watchdog in Elden Ring. If this video helped you with the fight, please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next video.